Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to learn some techniques using bitwise and logical operators in C language for setting a particular bit in a register of a microcontroller and also for clearing a particular bit in a register of a microcontroller without even disturbing the other bits that is available in the register of the microcontroller. Let's get started. So these are all common techniques that are widely used among embedded engineers in the industry for setting a particular bit in a register of a microcontroller and also for clearing a particular bit in a microcontroller without disturbing the other individual bits that is available in the register of a microcontroller. So these are common practices that are done by the embedded engineers in the industry. So you should also learn these techniques using simple bitwise and also few of the logical operators that is available in C language. So let's look at the first and foremost setting technique of a particular bit in a microcontroller register without disturbing the other bits. So you can see the sequence goes like register is equal to register R of 1 left shifted by bit number. So this bit number right over here is the the particular bit of the register that you want to set. So it may be a 32 bit register or 16 bit register or 8 bit register. The technique remains the same. So you need not vary about the width of the register of the microcontroller. You can use this technique for setting a particular bit in a register. And let's take an example for understanding how this technique works. So here in this example, I'm just going to set a particular bit of a register called GPIO port data of our microcontroller. So let's take this to be a register that we are going to use for setting a particular bit. Let's take the bit to be third bit of the register. So GPIO port data is equal to GPIO port data R of 1 left shifted by 3. So let's understand how this sequence or line sets the bit number 3 in the register without disturbing or without even touching the state of other bits. So let's assume the initial state or bit status of all the bits available in the GPO port data to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So all the bits are 0. And 1 left shifted by 3 is nothing but a binary representation of this one. You can clearly see in this particular line right over here. The 1 left shifted by 3 means 1 from 0th bit position will be left shifted by 3 times. So 1 shifted by 1 time. 2 time and 3 times. So only we got this data. So when we perform R between these two as per our sequence you can clearly see the sequence is GPO port data R of 1 left shifted by 3 times stored in the same GPO port data. So result of this will be stored in the same GPO port data. So when I perform GPIO port data R of 1 let's shifted by 3 we will get like let's start from bit number 0 0 R of 0 is 0 and again bit number 1 says 0 R of 0 is 0 and bit number 2 says 0 R of 0 is 0 and here in particular bit number 1, 0 R of 1, we will get 1. So as we know the truth table of R, 0, 0 is 0, 0, 1 is 1, 1, 0 is 1, 1, 1 is 1. So this is input 1 and this one is input 2 and this one is the output. So this is the R2 table, we very well know this. So in R you can particularly see that if any one of the input is 1, we will get the result to be 1. 
so that is why all the bits except the particular bit right over here in this statement is made one for setting that particular bit so here in this third bit position you can clearly see even if this bit is 1 or 0 we will get the result to be 1 so that is why for setting a particular bit in this register we are just using register r of 1 left shifted by 3 and if you take a closer look of all the other bits available right over here we are having the value 0 which means whether in this position let's take an example of this position whether if we are having 0 or 1 right over here if you perform r of 0 you will get the same result in the result variable or in the register so that is why we are performing r for setting a particular bit and leaving all the other bits in the same state as usual so in this statement we are just setting the bit number 3 so this is how you can set a particular bit in a register without disturbing the other bits in the register even if it is a 8 bit 16 bit or 32 bit register and you can perform this operations in a sequential manner like this so when i write gpo port data is equal to gpo port data r of 1 left shifted by 3 r of 1 left shifted by 2 these two bits will be set in this particular register and you can do this for as many times as you can using a single sequence or single expression and let's look into the another sequence that we are going to learn in this video that is the clearing a particular bit in a register without stopping other bits so the sequence goes like register is equal to register ambition of that is and of negation of one left shifted by the bit number so the bit number is nothing but the bit that you want to clear irrespective of the initial value that it holds so whether the bit is having value 0 or 1 you just want to clear that and you want to remain or retain other bits value as the same so that is the purpose of this expression so let's take the same example that is i just want to clear the bit number 3 in the gpo port data register of the microcontroller so now you can clearly see gpo port data is equal to gpo port data ambition of negation of 1 left shifted by 3 so this will clear the bit number 3 in the register irrespective of the state of the bit whether it is 0 or 1 it will clear the state of the bit number 3 so let's take the initial value of the data register to be 0 all the bits all the bit values of the gpo port data register is 0 and when i write 1 left shifted by 3 we know the 1 will be left shifted from 0th bit position 3 times so 1 2 3 so this is how 1 left shifted by 3 will be represented in 32 bit format so if it is a 16 bit register you will not be having all these 4 upper bits and if it is a 8 bit register you will not be having all these bits and you will be having only lower 8 bits that's it that's the difference between 16 bit 8 bit and 32 bit register and further the operation will be held for rest of the bits available in the register and negation of 1 left to by 3 is nothing but all the bits will be inverted that is all the zeros will be made once and once will be made zeros so this is how the negation works in the binary level so you can see 1 left shifted by 3 is nothing but 1 0 0 in binary so only one that is available right over here is the bit number 3 so negation of 1 left shifted by 3 will make all the zeros ones so all the bit values will be having the value 1 except bit number 3 because initially 1 left shifted by 3 was having the bit number 3 to be 1 so the value is double one 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 zero triple one so this is the negation of one left shifted by three so when i perform under operation between these two that is gpo port data ambition of negation of one left shifted by three what i will get is so we are just checking for initial state of the bit to be zero 
So and operation goes like 0, 0, we will be having the result to be 0, logical and 0, 1 will be having the value to be 0, 1, 0 for these two inputs we will be having the value again to be 0 and for 1, 1 we will be having the value to be 1, that is the result to be 1. So you can clearly see in the third bit position 0 ambition of 0 will be having the value 0. Here also we will be having 0 ambition of 1 will be having value 0 and 0 ambition of 1 will be having value 0 and 0 ambition of 1 will be having the value 0. So it goes on like this. So let us assume the case number 2 that uh, when the bit number 3 is having the value 1. So what happens here is the GPO or data register will be having the value 1 initially in the bit number 3rd position. So when I perform AND operation of this port data with negation of 1 left shifted by 3. Now also you can see 1 ambition of 0 will provide me the value 0. So irrespective of the value that is available in the bit number 3 of the register whether it is 0 or 1 it will be cleared when you perform this GP over port data is equal to GP over port data ambition of negation of 1 left shifted by 3. And all the remaining bits will be having the same value irrespective of the change made in the particular bit value. So this is how it works for clearing a particular bit that is available in the register. That is the sequence goes like register is equal to register ambition of negation of 1 left filter by bit number. And also you can continue with this expression like this. GPO port data is equal to GPO port data ambition of negation of 1 left shifted by 3, ambition of negation of 1 left shifted by 3, 2. So, when you write like this, the bit number 3 and bit number 2 will be cleared in the register called GPO port data that is available in the microcontroller. So, you can also write as much as sequence that you want in a single expression for clearing number of bits in a register. Or you can directly write a hexadecimal value for writing to that particular data register. So I hope you learnt some basic techniques using bitwise operator and also logical operators in C language for setting a particular bit in a register without disturbing other bits and also for clearing a particular bit in a register without even touching other bit positions in the register of a microcontroller in this video. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.